<laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. This is my lovely wife, Riza. We have uh, been married now for just about a year. We'll be, be a year next month in the end of October. And uh, we've been in a long-term relationship, in case you guys aren't familiar with our, uh, our channel. Uh, for, it lasted for four years. She finally came here to the United States. We had all kinds of problems getting her here as far as uh, travel restrictions, immigration, uh, the whole nine yards. But that's something we can talk about in another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about problems that you can expect as an expat or American in the Philippines. And not to bash anybody about this, but we get asked these questions a lot and we just kind of figured we'd do a, do a video on this. She's afraid she's going to offend someone in the Filipino com community. And I'm like, it's okay, honey. We're, we're, we're not picking on any particular people. We're just going to give a honest opinion on some mm -hmm. of the things that happen in the Philippines. So you as a foreigner, uh, can know what to expect, right? Yes, I'm not staying there for many years because I work abroad and I will try my best to answer your question. <laughs> also, guys, you're going to have to remember my wife's a little shy when you put her in front of the camera, so uh, bear with her. She's, she's learning yeah. to uh, be a little bit more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. but uh, I'm shy to talk, but I, lo I love to explore. Oh yeah, she's, she's, <laughs> just check out some of our videos and watch some of the things that she gets into. But anyway, let's get on with this video. Uh, look at my little cheat notes here and see what we got. Okay. Uh, wow. One thing we're asked about a lot of times are, is our relationships in the Philippines. Uh, is it bad news to get hooked up with a uh, Filipina who has been married. Yes. Straight out, yes. yes. Elaborate on that. Why? Because you can end up to the prison. Well, if her husband is still around, still in the picture, he can complain to the authorities in the Philippines and have you arrested. But, yeah. um, but it works both ways they arrest both of you, he, you and her, and uh, you could be in prison for up to what, five years? Two, two, half, uh, two to five years. Two to five years, and what, deported? You can be deported to U.S. Well, yeah, you can be deported back yeah. to your home country, not to necessarily home, just yeah. the U.S., your, your home country. Home country. And you can be also banned from the Philippines for, I think, what, 10 years? Yeah, it's about 10 years. And then you have to ask for permission to come back, and that really doesn't happen a lot. You know, uh, it's kind of, uh, kind of uh, uh, a done deal at that point, I would have to say. Would you not agree? Yes, I agree with that. If they catch you, um, you know, having sex. Yeah, if, if he can prove that you were actually having sex with his wife, then, you know, it's bad news. So, dating a married Filipina is... A very difficult one. Yeah. So, so we would recommend steering clear of that. Would you not agree? Yes, I agree. Yeah. J just don't do it. Uh, another question we get asked a lot. Here is, uh, what are some things Americans should uh, watch out for when they come to the Philippines for the first time? If you're in, the, now, we're, now we're referring to big cities like uh, Manila, Davao, uh, what's that? No, Cebu. Cebu, the, the larger cities. Um, she wrote down some things here. Uh, you have to worry about pickpockets. Yes, that's very. It, it often happens in the big cities. Yeah, pickpockets. Pickpockets in the big cities, and one of the ways to get around that is not to, not to be flashing a lot of your jewelry, 
Yes, jewelries like uh, necklace, bracelets, yeah, and, and uh, for the women's uh, like your friends, uh, they have the earrings here. Yeah, don't be any jewelries from your. Opinion, right? Don't be real flashy with your jewelry mm -hmm. and uh, and 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 things like that. Uh, don't be flashing your money. Uh, Normally over here in United States, we, we used to put our phones in at the back. Yeah, in your back pockets. Don't do that. Bad idea. In Philippines, it's just you, you tempt them. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, be, don't be tempting. Don't, mm. don't put things out. And, and I mean, this, this can be held true for, you know, a lot of countries. We're not just picking on yes, the Philippines. Yes, not Philippines we're not, we're not just picking on the Philippines. Yes. Uh, Anywhere. But you need to be careful because this happens a lot. And, and you, you have to be careful not to, uh, I think one of the other things you put down here was, uh, don't, flirt, don't insult the government. Don't get involved in their, in their politics. Do not, would you, would you agree? Yes. Don't, don't Just steer clear of that conversation don't don't get involved in their politics and have anything to do with don't say anything yeah just, just don't just don't <laughs> it's say it's hard to say yeah just don't just yeah. don't say anything let that one just go right on out the window don't don't, don't get worry about involved that with any um matter about uh government um issues yeah you know. yeah stay <laughs> stay away from the government issues and the, the talks and don't yeah. uh uh, she tells me that that Philip, Philippine people can be, uh, they're not used to our language, although they speak English, they're not yeah. used to the, I guess you'd say the nuances and the way that we phrase things. Yes. So you can easily, if you're not careful, you can insult someone and not mean to insult them. Yeah. Um, uh, I guess so, you could say it's not. Don't, sometimes, don't. like um, you all uh, just having fun, the way you 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 praise things, or just uh, like I but, don't know. But how don't to say, don't like, don't try to belittle people mm -hmm. because they 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 take great offense to that. They're very proud people, and uh, they do not like to be. Don't don't. don't Make it look like you're making fun of them yeah. or downing them for a situation. Or some of like some that. of the Filipino is uh, is uh, very open-minded already, but some are very narrow-minded, and you know, not all is uh, uh, they understand you, and we don't know them. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, and just 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 be careful. Make your friends, careful. and uh, if you're going out to parties and such, uh, just. You know, until you really get to know the just, people, just yes. be careful what you say and how you act, and what you. You know, the pillow here. This is. Uh, you know, it sounds. She's, uh, she's sitting up very high, <laughs> but she's sitting on her legs, <laughs> making me look like a midget uh, <laughs> sitting here beside her. But uh, you know, you know, love. It sounds very, uh, very. We we scare them to come to Philippines. Oh no 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 no! no. We're not we're not. We just <laughs> see. My wife was worried about you know people's fit. We're just giving you some things to be made aware of that, yeah. that to keep you from getting into trouble. Yeah. Uh, down the road. Yes. Uh, something else that we can uh, talk about is let's see. Uh, is it true that there's no divorce in the Philippines? Yes, true. There is no divorce in the Philippines. No, no divorce Philippines. in the Philippines. And uh, even if they are living separate and apart mm -hmm. and dating other people, yeah. they're still married. And, they are. And if you offend one or the other, even though they're in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in another relationship, you can... Uh, they are still married. They're still married, and yeah. you can get into a, a lot of hot water. So, the only type, uh, the only way you can do uh, any type of anything that even comes close to a divorce in the Philippines is uh, annulment. A, annulment. Yeah. And 
that is very expensive and a lot of a lot of cases it just does not happen mm -hmm. Uh, it is just a culture over there. You, you're not going to get it. it and, and if you do get it, it's going to cost you a lot of money from uh, what, she, right. uh, what she understands. It was 300 to 500,000. Yeah. And that's if you can get a judge to do it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have to uh, kick in a little extra, yeah. if you know what I mean on that, to get that done. But that's not... Uh, it's just not 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 worth it. So, if you're in a relationship, if you get, if you're starting a relationship and you find out that your Filipina is married, just uh, stop I'm it. sorry, guys, run. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know how to put that because I have heard nothing yeah. good about this situation in the Philippines. Well, if if you really love your Filipina that you're dating, then you have to take take the rest and wait you know yeah what you can do if you if you really love it, it's me well that's why i'm saying find out early in the relationship yeah. before you go down that rabbit hole because once you do i mean you have it, to it's going to really limit you to a lot of things you won't be able to bring her to the united states uh, if that is your plan, uh, you're going to have to move over there and you're going to have to make sure that her husband is cool with that. He may require you to pay yeah. him money. To, to, and so it can, get, it can get very, very sticky. So I, find, out, find out early in the relationship if, they if, were not, if they're married. If they were not together, I heard that it's like seven years they separated, they're not staying together, seven years and above. They can file an annulment already and it takes a long, long time again. <laughs> seven. Again. Mm -hmm. uh, seven years. One of the other things that she has down here is, uh, let's see. Uh, there, when you do the online dating, and we have touched on this in some of our other videos, but when you're doing the online dating, don't, don't cheap out. Uh, pay for a reputable company, and they have a better screening process, not saying that there are not scammers involved in that. We were lucky we had uh, a mutual friend set us up, so we didn't have to go through the, the dating site. Uh, I think there are a couple of Christian dating sites out there for yeah. Filipinos, for Filipinas. Uh, I there's was, a lot also on YouTube. I saw it. Yeah, there's there's, there's a ton, but yeah. but be wary of the ones that are that are cheap or have uh, very small fees, because you can really get scammed very easy. And she tells me she doesn't know anyone personally, but when she was living in some of the bigger cities over there, um, the husband and wife would actually work together. Yeah. You get you meet the Filipina in a bar and you go off and you have your relation that night or whatever, and I hate to say this, but you you, yeah. you pay her for the service and uh, yeah. she leaves and then 45 minutes to an hour later you've got a knock on your door and it's a guy standing Come there. On. And he's upset because you've had sex with his wife. Wife. And he's threatening threatening to take you to immigration. Immigration, threatening to call the police. Yes. To have you arrested. And yes. uh then he'll extort you for money. Yes. So true. not only did you pay his wife, you're gonna end up paying him mm -hmm. to go away. Yes. Uh like I say, That's she that's a scam. Yeah, she, she she doesn't know anybody personally. No, I don't know. But, I hear that in but, the big but cities. When she was in the big cities over in the Philippines, she was hearing a lot of that at, mm -hmm. at that time. And that's something you need to be careful you of. You have to so be extra careful, guys. Just ask a couple of extra questions mm -hmm. like, you know, you know, are you married? Do you have kids? How long have you been separated? Uh, do you uh, Have you ever been married? Do mm -hmm. you... 
do you have you traveled abroad? Do you do you know what do you do for a living? What mm -hmm. what what is your job? Ask yeah. some basic questions before you just come in and go. Hey, do you want to go up to have a few drinks and go out and party and end up, you know? No, in Philippines there's a lot in the bar. There's a lot of beautiful ladies. There's a lot of beautiful Filipino, but they can go if. You know, they can, they are very cool, they are very sweet, very innocent. There's a lot, but... And, and I won't say that... I'm not saying Filipina we're, we're, is everybody's like that, but... Yeah, but you know, the, there, there are some yeah. things that... And I'm not saying actually prostitution or anything like no, that goes on, no. but th there are areas that you can go into just like there areas in any other country you can go to and experience that type of life if that's what you're looking for. But just be on your P's and Q's. Don't, don't just be naive and go over because there and just... Because some and just... of the foreigner, they come over there, it's just like for a tourist mm -hmm. and uh, they like to go to the bar just to have fun. Mm -hmm. And they meet some Filipina in the bar, and they, you know, they end up some, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and, and you just, mm -hmm. but, and I'm not saying that they prey on foreigners over there, but mm. you you do have to do, just 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 be just be wary that be it's aware, out there, yes, that it's be out aware there. only to the big cities, like in, in, in the bigger cities, not, not so much in the provinces, but in the in the bigger cities, mm -hmm. but. Uh, Let's see what else we got here. Uh, uh, do you? Um, I cannot read, love. <laughs> <I> cannot read. <laughs> What's the average earning of a Filipina or Filipino in the Philippines? Uh, mm. on average per day and this this can vary but the average is what about what did you say about ten dollars US yeah ten dollars about 500 pesos yeah, 500. 500 Filipino it pesos depends the, it depends on the profession yeah the on, on the job I mean they can make more but but on the average you know they're uh, they don't have a lot of industry a lot of uh, 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 commerce like larger countries do mm -hmm. so that's you why know, they, everybody go out abroad yeah that's why everybody you'll find that like with with my wife uh yeah. she traveled abroad she's been in uh for many years you've been in uh thailand you've been in malaysia, Manila, malaysia. i've never been to thailand not to thailand but malaysia uh you were in china for a while Hong you've Kong. been in dubai yeah. so i mean it's just they, they, they travel and, and go places because they can't make they Bigger can't make money. money in their country. Mm -hmm. They go they have to go other places and send money back to their families. So, so it's really hard for for us to stay there because when we we buy things it's very expensive for us and only foreigner to stay there is a they can live like a king. <laughs> yeah, if you're uh, if you're retired, or even if you're not retired, and you, yeah. you, uh, and you you have American money, you can you can uh, do very you well for yourself in, in the Philippines. I mean, our our ultimate goal is to uh, stay here in the United States another two years, and then we plan on moving back to the Philippines, building us a house or or renting a condo we haven't decided yet yeah but that that's our goal i'll i'll be fully retired in another year and a half so uh, we'll, be, we'll be eventually moving back to the philippines unless something changes between now and then you don't never know but yeah, that right plan. now that's that's the plan god's will. uh yeah god's will uh let's see what else we got in here uh, what is it like? Uh, she's from Davao City. Yeah. Um, Davao Tagum. 
and she likes it, uh, likes it there in Davo. She's you've never lived in a province, have you? You've always lived in yeah, the city. Yeah, I'm there in. Actually, I'm. I'm not staying for in Philippines for long. I'm in abroad. Yeah, she's been abroad a lot. So, yeah. but some of the things that she likes about Davao City is uh, it's it's cleaner than uh, a lot of the cities in the Philippines. Yes. Uh, there's a lot to do as far as malls, shopping. Yes, it's very a uh, lot of malls over uh, there. A lot of tourism as far as uh, places mm -hmm. to go, beaches to visit. Uh, yeah things to do and it's not the most expensive city to to live in in the philippines but you know it's it's a little more from what what she tells me it's a little more structured yes like uh traffic over there can be a nightmare <laughs> that's uh, why i told you you have to be <laughs> you have to be patient over there because yeah, when they yeah. honk at you uh -huh. if you don't uh, hurry up and just like a boom. <laughs> Doo -doo, doot, doot, doot. <laughs> Unlike here in America, it's like very kind people. Yeah, in, she says we're very polite. Yeah, here. very polite. They don't just like overtake over you with the, you know, what, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. There, they don't try to. Hey, I have to ask permission. Yeah. Over there, they just. They just. Push. <laughs> Just go around Bye. here, cut you off. You, cut you. It, you have to. You have to. It, it's uh, it's a it's a unique experience. Mm -hmm. so, but driving in Davo, they have traffic lights. Yeah. They have traffic enforcement. Yeah. Uh, Did you see uh, that in the the video? I, yeah, uh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that in a couple of the other videos where, mm -hmm. like in, and we're not picking on you, Cebu, but. Cebu is uh, not as organized as uh, Davo when it comes to traffic and a lot of their cleanliness. And uh, but they are a lot more. Davo City is a little bit more conservative, wouldn't you say? Yes, but Cebu. They Cebu. said that. Uh, Cebu is more friendly. Yeah, <laughs> the people are more friendly. You're more apt to get invited to go have a red horse <laughs> or come in their house and have red horse. Uh, or, yes, they are very, uh, very, 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 very. Uh, I don't know, hospitality. Their hospitality. Yeah, they're, 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 are they're just a lot like, more. Yeah. They're, How does they're it? just a little more friendly, but not saying that uh, Davo is Davo not. Davo is but like. You, it takes a little. They, they, they're more observant. Yeah, they, you know, they we wanna, are, we have to look, look at you first. Yeah, they want to get to know you first yeah. before they just, then and, can, then, and then places like Cebu, <laughs> it's just like. I said, I'm sorry, I love. I won't say party all the time, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they are a little bit more laid back. Because I'm from Davao, it's like your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, my wife is, uh. Well, I don't know. My wife can be very promiscuous, so I'll just leave it at that. No, I. Uh, well, I, I will be. I can be a good friend, but of course, I, I have to look at you first. How you treat me, you know. Yeah. If you're rude to me, of course, you know. Of course, <laughs> but that's one of her favorite words. Of course, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just just when you travel to the Philippines, we're getting off track here. And I'm trying to get this video back in because it's up to like 20 mm -hmm. some minutes now, and we want to bring it to a close because I know you guys don't have a lot of time to where you can sit and watch us. So um, I was worried about our topic just now because uh, it, it's like we scare you for coming in the, in my, co my my country, but we are trying to. Um, just make yeah. you aware yeah, of aware some of the that. things that go that can that can go mm -hmm. on, and this is talking from a uh, a Filipina who yeah. who lived there, who uh, has family there, mm -hmm. and we are planning on going back there. So we're not yeah. we're not talking bad about the Philippines. We're just saying things that foreigners need to be aware of yes. when they travel to the Philippines. Yeah, but or mm -hmm. any other country. You just need to be uh, be careful. Yeah, in Davao City, just for the foreigner that's smoking, be careful to smoke in the city because they will give you a fine. 
Mm, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't luckily I don't smoke, so mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, they will give you a fine. And there is a, a place for the smoking area only in Davao City. Yeah. Yeah, in Manila so, and what? Manila and Cebu, Cebu and those other other cities. Yes. There's there's not a big deal about that, but apparently there is a big deal on yeah. the uh, issue with smoking in public in Yeah, in public. In Davao Davo, Davao. And of course, I advise you all guys before coming to Philippines, you need to watch a YouTube channel first. Yeah, yeah. watch you some videos, watch. get educated. Uh, mm -hmm. People who have been there and live there will, will you know, try to try to tell you. There's a lot of expats that live yes. there, and uh, they're always giving advice. And we, you know, I, I checked out their videos, just like uh, I hope you're checking out our video, and. The main thing that I want you to get take away from this video is be aware of your surroundings yes. and be careful on trusting right away. Yes. Do your diligent research. Research where you're going. Mm -hmm. Research uh, the people in that area. And when you when you meet someone for the first time, don't just and I don't and I'm not trying to be. I don't know how you can explain this. You're not trying to be mean. You're just trying to be careful, mm -hmm. ask the questions, and don't just take things on face value because there are a lot of dishonesty in this world and you can be taken advantage of. So don't become a victim. So. I agree. Agree. We're going to get out of here because Filipina is, what are you cooking for dinner tonight? I'm hungry. Filipina is always hungry. That's one of the things you will learn. The Filipinos are always hungry, and when mm. they get hungry, they're always, you Shorter. know, they're always uh, what you would say, uh, very fun-loving, happy people. But when they get hungry, they just tend to mm, angry you know, bird. Angry bird is a good way to put it. So mm. we're gonna get the Filipinos something to eat, and we're gonna call this video a wrap. We appreciate you watching. Shout out to all of our new subscribers. Yes. And we're trying to grow our channel to 5,000. So if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. consider giving us a subscribe, a like, and like always comment. drop us a comment because we always try to answer every one of our comments that we get. And uh, we do appreciate it because it helps us grow. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to take the Filipina, and we're going to get something to eat, and hopefully we'll have a quiet evening tonight, right? Mm-hmm. Not happy. <laughs> Never a quiet moment with a Filipina. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the What's going on guys? Welcome back by the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. This is my lovely wife, Riza. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> okay.